Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here at Ulta Beauty in the parking lot and I have had this date on my calendar for a few weeks now because Ariana Grande has some new fragrances out and they hit the stores apparently today. Hopefully we will look for them and see. They're actually running a great deal today. Uh, it ends today I think, but it's five times points on fragrances and I have a 20% off coupon that expires at the end of the month. I think it's a one-time use, but I think most people got that in their Ulta rewards this month. So we'll see if I can find anything else. Otherwise, I just don't think there's a ton of new stuff out, but I'm just really excited for those Ariana Grande scents. So I hope I like them. I definitely wanted to go in store to like test them out. I was just in Kansas City for the weekend a very short trip but they have like the most gorgeous Christmas decor I have a little very short reel up in my Instagram if you guys want to see it that they have a gorgeous lit up Christmas tree and their Union stations all decked out so me and my husband went there over the weekend but I was like I have to be home by Sunday so I could go to Ulta and film this so let's go see what we can find at Ulta okay guys heading into one of my favorite Ulta beauty stores here inside here's a little overview they still have tons of gifts that's out for the holidays they have a whole section of these hair gifts from like dry bar olaplex as well so i didn't really go in too depth with that and then some more gift sets here i kind of went over a lot of these in my past ulta videos so definitely check those out because they still have tons of gift sets left over i did find the ariana scents over here i was expecting them to be by the perfumes but they're more towards the cash wrap but it's the mod fragrances so we have the mod blush first up i have to say didn't really love this one i'll have to explain it later in the video but it's more fresh fruity vibes these are 68 dollars each and they only had the 3.4 ounce in my stores this is the packaging too i do like the packaging i do think it's pretty cute and then of course the mod vanilla this one i was so excited to try since i love my vanilla scents i did end up taking it home with me the mod vanilla so next up we found some more little sets here i found these cute ones from fresh that i wanted to share because i don't think i've seen these yet i've always been wanting to try this milk line from them but i haven't bit the bullet yet just because i don't know how the scents would be tula had some amazing gift sets too this is a facial scrub trio in some different scents like a sugar plum a gingerbread they had so many gift sets. Let me know if you guys have any favorite Tula products because I feel like everyone is obsessed with them right now. Moving on over, Bare Minerals put even more gift sets out. In my last video, they only had a few. And then look at all those tree scrubs. Next up, we have the ColourPop. It's a small world collection at Ulta. I did a full review on this one. I really thought this was going to be a popular collection, but it really didn't get much traction. So I'm thinking not a lot of people were interested, but honestly, I liked the palette. I think it's pretty and I think it's worth checking out. They only had a couple things left in store though, so I was kind of surprised that maybe a lot of people did buy it since not many people viewed my video but if you want to review i do have one up on this collection i really love pretty much everything in it and i'm surprised they had a bunch of this highlighter left this was my favorite one next up they had a ton of the kiss lashes they had the meredith duxbury collection i went more in depth with this in my last pr unboxing because i did receive these and i think these are some of their best lashes like these are stunning i feel like the styles that they picked for this collection were absolutely beautiful so i was pretty excited about this one for the holidays and they even had some of these larger sets too uh, i don't think this was in collab with meredith but they had a few different styles in these nice luxe tensions collections so i thought that these were really nice as well from kiss now i always like to check out this like sparked by ulta beauty it's like their new upcoming brands a lot of stuff that people don't know about like they have a bunch of the tinted brand there i think i have gone over their stuff but they had some new ones like they just got in about face just their matte fluid eye paints so i've been wanting to try these i wish they would get more from the brand though they are pretty affordable i think and then i did see that they also had an eye primer too now they have this brand it's called petite and pretty and i think this is so over price i don't know it just doesn't look good it looks cheap this palette is 34 dollars like i don't think so <laughs> i don't know i'm not really that impressed with this brand it just it doesn't look good it looks like little girls makeup to me let me know if you guys have tried anything from it i mean some of their packaging is cute but 
I just think this is all around way too expensive for what you get. I also saw that they have this new Lolly brand, which is more of like a clean brand. I think it has a lot of skincare and body products. So I was kind of curious about trying these. They have some recyclable packaging as well. So very eco-friendly, but I don't know. Everything just looked kind of nice. So I'm intrigued with that brand. And then they also had this one that was new to me. This is called Sashio. I think they had a break, out, break up balm. Um, I kind of thought this packaging was fun. The lactic tonic. They had a few things there. And then they had this from Loops. It's little eye mask so these are some of the newer brands at Ulta that maybe aren't so well known but you're kind of trying to focus on and then NARS has these power matte lipsticks I feel like I haven't seen these yet but I know I've heard some hype about them because a lot of them are already sold out and I'm curious about them so I really like the neutral shade up front here I'll show you guys it's so pretty I also want to get a red so I may have to get these later down the road they also had a couple new Kylie palettes these little on the go palettes they're $19 in the mini mob and the mini bronze at least i think they're new there's just not a whole lot of new makeup out today that i haven't shared with you i'm not a huge fan of her formula um i feel like maybe 15 dollars would be a better price for these maybe i don't know they seemed a little expensive i haven't seen the jacqueline strawberry collection yet in person so i was excited to check that out it wasn't something i was really into just because it's very berry toned and not super holiday or wintry to me but there's quite a bit of stuff in that line and then we headed over to the skincare and Drunk Elephant actually had some new body care that I didn't know about. So you guys know me and my body care. I had to check it out. They have this new Scrubby Bamboos Body Cleanser. I haven't seen this before. I know they have a regular shower gel, but this looked really nice. I love the smell of their stuff. And I also saw that they had a new lotion in stock as well the silly whipped body lotion hadn't even heard this yet so i was pretty excited about those finds next up we have this kit from osea and this is a brand i've been getting into it's been pretty hyped up and they had this nice bestseller kit for only 39 which i think would be nice to try them out as well as philosophy had a nice fan favorite set as well i spy some fresh cream in there and then i had to show these sunday riley sets as well they had a day set and a night set and you get so so much products it's like a whole routine it's uh i think 95 dollars each the sizes are really good honestly these just look like nice sets now nyx has an avatar collection which i was shocked to find in stores already i am so excited for the new movie but do you see this price 40 dollars for a nyx palette are you kidding me like what is going on i will admit the colors look very beautiful but what is up? I thought NYX was supposed to be a drugstore, and now it's getting more and more high-end. But I will say the theming overall, it's really pretty. Uh, here's a couple swatches just to kind of see what it felt like. It didn't seem anything out of this world. This palette was already sold out, or they just never got it in. It's like their blush palette. And they have some lip stuff and these like luminous sticks, which I think are little highlighters. So yeah, I think, I mean, all around, it looks like they did a nice job on the collection. And I think the theming is Great. There's a couple other things in the collection, like a little paint and these luminous glosses as well. So let me know what you guys think of this, but I was just shocked with the prices, honestly. I thought I would share these Real Techniques brushes, their new Enchanted collection, because these looked really pretty. I don't really show their stuff very much, but how fun. They're like these fun jewel tones. They have an eye set, a face set, and then I actually love this brush here. I'll show you. How, how fun is that with the little confettis in it? So fun. And they have this little blender sponge and holder in that collection. We also had the Revolution School for Good and Evil collection out in stores already too. I did swatch a lot of this stuff in my PR haul, so I'll link that down below. I did not know they had a perfume in this collection. It did smell very cheap though, so not really a fan of that one. But they had um, some lashes that I didn't get sent that was new to me in this little seashell compact mirror, which was pretty cute. They even had like a bubble bath, so I didn't see that before. This is a really big collection, but the swatches, when I tried it out, I actually swatched really nice. So this is a huge collection. And then I wanted to share that Essence had this new powder foundation, another one that I did haul for you guys. I still need to try it out. A lot of you guys have been loving it though, so I wanted to make sure I included it in this video as well. 
All right, so I just got done at Ulta, and they honestly did not have much for new stuff. A lot of it was the same stuff I shared with you like a month ago or so, but we did find the Ari scents, which I was really excited to smell in store, which I'm glad that I smelled them before buying because honestly, I feel like I was left wanting more, feeling a little disappointed. Um, I'll share more with you in my haul when I get back home, but I definitely wasn't really into the Mod Blush. I like the Mod Vanilla, but it smells like something she already has in a way. I feel like a lot of her scents, like her newer scents, kind of smell repetitive. Um, and I don't know, I just want something more unique and different. So that's my first impressions there. I guess this video is going to turn into a review for her scents because there wasn't a lot to show you at Ulta, but I did buy just a couple things since I had that coupon. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home here. Okay guys, so I am back from Ulta. Got just a few things including one of the new Ariana scents. So let me go ahead and share my little review on the scents here. So first up, the one that I didn't buy is the Mod Blush. I was unsure if I would like it or not. And it turns out it just wasn't for me. It was more of a fresh, fruity kind of scent. Now I will say it's something newer for the Ariana Grande line. She doesn't really have anything like it, but I personally am not really big on super fruity or berry scents, so it didn't really call to me. Um, and honestly, it smelled a lot like this from Bath & Body Works, which just came out, Prismatic Star. So instead of spending $60 on the Mod Blush, maybe try this and see if that's something you like instead, because I feel like they smell almost identical to each other. But I pulled up the notes on Fragrantica and it says pink pepper, raspberry, passion fruit, and bergamot are the top notes. Middle notes of rose, magnolia, and pear. Base notes of dreamwood, sandalwood, musk, and embroxen. And the Bath and Body Works is raspberry stardust, mystic plum, and cosmic cashmere. And I just feel like they remind me a lot of each other. I did spray it on my arm here about three hours ago and I can still faintly smell it there, but I would just go for the Bath and Body Works one. I just wasn't that impressed. Now let me show you guys this one that I did pick up, which is the Mod Vanilla. Now they only had the 3.4 ounces in the store. I don't know if they come in a smaller size on the website, but this one definitely drew my attention because you guys know me and vanilla. So this is the Mod Vanilla. Let's open it up. So here's what the bottle looks like in store. We only saw it with the top off. She always does like extravagant packaging on her perfumes. Okay, so Mod Vanilla reminds me of Cloud and a little bit of God is a Woman mixed together. And it also reminds me of like a sweeter version of Cloud. But I do get a lot of like a marshmallow, a sweet sugar in here. I do get the vanilla, so it is really sweet. It's sweeter than Cloud, um, but it has some remnants of God is a Woman as well. So that's what I mean when I'm like... I just kind of feel like her newer scents are kind of very repetitive because I also thought that God is a Woman smelled like Cloud and I wasn't super blown away by that one either. I know Cloud is like a huge success for her so it just seems like everything smells like Cloud. So that's what I mean by I'm not like super impressed but I still enjoy it. I will definitely wear this. It's sweet and yummy. As you guys know, I like. The notes on here, top notes are musk, plum, and pink freesia. Middle notes of orris root and praline and base notes of vanilla and a coconut. And I'm looking on Fragrantica too and they always have this perfume reminds me of and it looks like they agree with me that they put Cloud as number one and the second is God as a Woman. So it's definitely dupable, but it's sweet and yummy, so I will definitely keep it in my collection. Just wish I had the smaller size of it. But yeah, I mean, I love checking out Ari's scents because she always comes out with some really good ones, but lately, I'm just wanting some more unique things. So that's my review on the new Ariana Grande Mod Blush and Mod Vanilla perfumes. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will link them for you. I did see on Ulta's website, they have a nice little set that comes with the both of them, I think in smaller sizes, and a cheaper price point so I'll also link that for you too. Alright so the rest of the stuff was very random pickups but I saw that Drunk Elephant had some new body products that I haven't tried yet which I was shocked because I've tried almost everything from them but I love the smell of their body line because it has like an almond oil scent to it. It's very light but I really enjoy it. So I grabbed this it's called the Scrubby Bamboos body cleanser and this one might have a different scent. It says vanilla fruit extract and this is more of an exfoliating wash. It has some exfoliating beads in it. It says it cleanses, softens, hydrates, and soothes with a mild naturally sweet vanilla scent. So let's see. It does smell 
maybe stronger than their usual stuff. And then I also picked up their Silly Whipped Body Lotion because I have their Silly Lotion, but I think this is supposed to be even more deeper moisture. And the Silly one is pretty light in texture, so it says it also has a sweet vanilla scent, deeply moisturizes, replenishes, and soothes. I just got way too much product out, so I'm gonna have to really blend this into the skin, but it does feel, it feels really good. It does feel thicker than their other one, which I like. And the smell, I still feel like it smells like that sweet almond oil to me. It's nothing overpowering, but this is just a really nice base lotion. And yeah, it just has a hint of an almond oil scent. Really yummy. Feels great. I think it definitely feels better than their original. So I'm really happy to pick this one up as well. I know their products, their body products are a bit expensive. It's not as expensive as their skincare, but I just really enjoy some of their body care line. Okay, I also picked up, I saw that my store had About Face Beauty and I've been kind of looking for their stuff. So they only had the like eye paints though. I'm, I'm really wanting to try their cream blushes, but I picked up the matte fluid eye paint in this brown color. I like like just a matte brown shadow all over the lid so i figured i'd try these i've heard that these are some of the best i've had really bad luck with liquid shadows though lately so i'm really curious to see how this will go so this is a really nice kind of medium chocolate brown here is what it looks like let's see if it blends it seems to blend nice yeah i like this it's not patchy it looks good, so I'm excited to try that for the eyes, and I feel like it was not a bad price. Like, it's not super expensive, even though it is a high-end brand. It's more in the middle ground. Like, I think it was like 17 bucks, plus I had my 20%. I also picked up a tanning mitt, because I actually <laughs> broke mine, and I've been out for like a couple weeks, so I've been using rubber gloves. So if you're ever in a pinch, rubber gloves work, but I want my tanning mitt back, so I just picked up this St. Tropez tanning mitt. And then I also grabbed, I've been wanting to use some cuticle oil on my nails because I do have really bad cuticles. They just get really dry and yucky looking. And then if they like stick out, I usually pick at them. So if I can keep them nice, then I feel like I won't pick at them. So this is the CND Solar Oil Nail and Cuticle Care. They usually do this if you guys get shellac done. Um, they'll do this little oil after your treatment and it always smells so good too. It's like an almond oil scent again. It smells delicious so you just do a little dab right on the cuticles and rub it in and just keeps them moisturized and healthy so i'm gonna try and be good about that because i want to keep my nails looking nice i have been getting them done lately i found a really good nail lady in the des moines area and she's been doing such a good job like she like legit cares about the nails i feel like so many nail salons they just don't care about the nails they do unhealthy things they're unsanitary and i finally found a good place so i just want to keep them looking good i got this cute um little candy cane design it's like pink and then one nail has the candy canes on it thought that would be a fun Christmassy design but nothing like over the top but yeah, that's everything I picked out from Ulta. Not too exciting. Um, just really wanted to go in for those Ariana perfumes. Let me know if you guys picked them up, what you think. Did you guys find anything good at Ulta lately? I feel like once Christmas is over, they're going to start bringing in more product because we have all the new launches coming soon for like drugstore launches and stuff like that. And I feel like there's just not a lot of super new items on the market right now. Um, with the Christmas and holiday season, everyone's kind of focused on the gift sets and not so much like new launches but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys